Yes, brothers and sisters, we are finally back again for another one, another reaction on this year. BR, BP TV, be real, be positive. Television, brothers and sisters, and with that said, I'll be jumping to reactions one on this year, BR, BP TV, which is this one, and another one on the Mr. Lick's reacts channel, guys. So definitely look for that link where in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, with all that said already, welcome to each and every one of you guys. Let's get into the vibrations for which I had to do yesterday, guys. Of course, this is none other than an individual who I, I saw a snippet of it. I didn't see the whole thing, but apparently this individual seems to be maybe from dominica and lives overseas but came, came back to the kalinaga territory and of course we're going to see what she has to say in that regard right there what is going on hello everyone hello Just the accent a little check in the accent kind of made me think that she was from overseas that's why i said that i don't even know if she's from overseas or not but you know from the Kalinaga Territory. She's definitely from overseas. <laughs> Today we had no water. Hmm. Um, water came back and now we have no lights. <laughs> well, I've heard that Domlek taking lights is no culture in Dominica, guys. Is that true? Is, is, is this really true? Domlek taking lights in Dominica is like a culture now. Of course, for the individuals who know why exactly this is, I personally believe that is as a result of the not much money circulating. So therefore, they have to cut things off. I even heard recently that they had an unexpected outage, <laughs> brothers and sisters. You know, of course, things that they did not inform the people about, information that they did not inform the people about, all of a sudden, lights just disappear like the rapture took place, brothers and sisters. Anyways, let's continue. Tomorrow, uh, no bright and early, we can look forward to um, being covered in dust again. Hmm. Oh, that's the airport situation. By these big construction trucks. Hmm. So life in the territory right now for me means that um, I have to be subjected Dust. to life-threatening conditions um with all the dust mm -hmm. um from the construction and actually it's affecting my my health uh i'm wheezing sometimes mm -hmm. you know and uh did i wonder if they took all this into consideration man concerning they knew that trucks were coming in they didn't figure that hey guys we're gonna be passing up and down with with with, with dust and maybe we should you know actually do something about it I mean, we, we remove the individuals from Wesley, certain parts of Wesley, we remove them, you know, and we say we're building international airport, but we forget about the other communities with all the dust that is being created. Did they make any preparations? Sometimes kind of, when I speak, I know, I don't think they, 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 they make any preparations for certain things, you know. They don't look at the, 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 the possibilities that could actually happen, that can actually affect individuals, especially individuals like her and other individuals who may have asthma or respiratory issues. Did they take these things into consideration? All right. It's, you know, it's really, I mean, and I'm, I'm a healthy person, but there's so many people affected. I see children walking on the streets, going to school, and a vehicle passes by. Dos. It's a regular vehicle. They still get covered in dust, <laughs> but uh, these big construction vehicles go speeding by, um, indiscriminately, you know, at high speeds, they don't care how much dust they're, they're, um, they're raising and, you know, who gets affected or not. So, yeah, that's a problem. This is not the first time I'm hearing this. I actually know some individuals who are living in the Kalinago territory who left Kalinago territory to move to other places because there was dust, heavy dust in the area. So are they telling indiv individuals in the Kalinago, Kalinago territory that they need to leave? Because apparently they didn't make any, you know, any provisions for them. They just say, hey, we build in the airport. <laughs> airport. Uh, trying to address it with anyone in leadership is really ineffective. They just mm -hmm. really are... Um, Incompetent? apathetic i would say <clears throat> about the condition because it seems so many people are <clears throat> complaining 
but uh, they see the leaders here see no reason to do anything. They don't care and about I the people. That, this is one of the reasons why I always mention this, you know, brothers and sisters. If individuals are just constantly voting for people who don't need to do anything, why would the leaders care in the first place? I mean, that's a legitimate question to ask, ain't it? If you are voting for somebody, you say you constantly siding with a person who does nothing for you. Why would the person need to even care about your health? I mean, you, you're still going to give them your support anyway, you know? For rum, cigarette, and maybe a little three, four, five hundred dollars. People really are... have given up. They have no hope. Um... It is what it is. Pick your smoke. <laughs> the solutions, right? What's the solution? Well, they give masks, eh? You know, daily <laughs> being subjected to threats, really. That's a threat to my life, mm -hmm. to the life of a lot of people on the territory. And um, we cannot escape that dust. And the question I, I, I mentioned, mes wearing masks and stuff, you know, masks can probably help, you know, a little bit, but... On the basis of you having to take the initiative to wear masks for what is being caused to happen to you, I think that, you know, it had circumstances where individuals find that the government are not doing anything for them. I don't care about them. I mean, you have to care about your own health, put your masks and your wet cloth on your face and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still the responsibility of those causing this to happen to you that need to take responsibility to solve the issue. You know, I'm saying you can do your part. You know, mask might help a little when it comes down to the dust and stuff. Uh, but, I mean, when everywhere is full of dust, I mean, wearing a mask and you're still breathing, it's not going to prevent the dust from not coming in. You know, the dust coming, it's going to be coming from anywhere, any, anywhere it could come in. So, at the end of the day, like I said before, the leaders also need to be accountable for what they have done to you guys. And not just one person going, multiple of you guys need to go there and try to solve that problem. Why is it that a whole territory has to be subjected to that? Why did they destroy the entire road, you know, from Bataka, from Atkinson, really, or Antrizzo, all, mm -hmm. the, all the way down to Sinecu, you know? Um, what sense does that make? And now they cannot handle the dust they cannot do anything to alleviate the dust condition because the scope is too big they have one water truck that comes along once in a while um, it, needs, it needs to be there more regularly you cannot have the people suffer in that regard you need to have the water trucks maybe multiple water trucks you know i was going to say well pay extra water truck but maybe the government don't have money but you can't tell me the government don't have money yet still a billion how much 1.3 billion dollars International airports doesn't cost that amount of money, but $1.3 billion. You think it's Dubai we build in airport? But brothers and sisters, on the basis of what she's saying there, yes. The government needs to take account and say, hey, if you bring some of the NEP workers there. Well, then again, the NEP workers have a struggle of getting their money too. So, boy, that is a tie. We, that is, don't, <laughs> let's continue. That's not enough. The dust doesn't stop. You know, even when the construction stops. There are two sets of people in the territory right now, right? Dust makers and dust takers. Hmm. Either you're in a vehicle making dust or you're walking and you have to take dust. Why Why did they mash up the roads? Are they trying to fix the roads? And if they're trying to fix the roads, are they literally fixing the roads? Because, I mean, trucks are going back and forth for the international airport. The international airport is not in the Kalinago territory, no. It's not in the Kalinago territory, so did they mash up the road for them to fix the road? And if, I mean, we, why are we thinking backwards? I mean, if you're mashing up the road for you to fix the road, shouldn't you do this, fix the road, before you allow the trucks to come in, multiple heavy trucks and other vehicles to come in, to then further bring dust in the area? I mean, who is doing the planning? You know, I mean, that's simple logic. Who is doing the planning behind these things? But then again, sometimes you have to say, boy, you know, it's Dominica. And, 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 and I understand some people might say not to say these things. I understand, but brothers and sisters, it's, it's very evident. When when they fix the road, the West Coast Road, brothers and sisters, they have to mash up the road for them to put pipe in it. They mash up the side of the road for them to put pipe. Boy, who is doing these plannings? It seems like we are divided not just amongst the people, but the heads as well. 
But you know where, where it stems? It stems from the leadership. If the leadership is incompetent, you expect everything else to be incompetent. People might try their best to do something here and there. But from the leadership, it starts and if incompetence will reign supreme in the land. So what's the solution? You know, what's the solution for they us? They are the solution. Do we have to block the roads? Hmm. Until our safety issues are addressed? It's up to all you have. Until safety measures are put into place? Is that what we're going to have to do, block the roads? I think you guys need to go as a collective, as a group, to go and speak to them and say, hey, this is our issue. But then you might go and nothing happens because the other people say, <laughs> boy. <laughs> because you cannot tell me that there is, we can do nothing but sit there and take, it. And take dust every single day with no end in sight for the entire length of the Kalinago territory. The whole thing. That's inhumane, you know, that's very inhumane. <clears throat> you know, and the workers themselves have to consider their their the condition, their working conditions. But usually they don't. It doesn't seem like they do. Because if they did con consider that, they would bring more water trucks to wet the roads and not just, you know. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's unsafe. I can run downstairs, close up my windows and escape. But these people on the road, you know, they're affected day in and day out with that dust. You know, what are the long term effects of this dust hmm. on Good everyone? Question. You hear in, guys, I'm listening to her, you know, and she keeps clearing her throat. <clears throat> I'm listening to her. Listen from the very beginning and you realize that she's been clearing her throat a lot. So therefore, she's not making any jokes about this. She's serious. It literally is affecting her. No. Listen, you'll hear clear, clear, clear fruit a few, a few more times because throughout the video, that's what I was listening to as well. So, yeah. That's just my little check-in from the territory and uh, that's what's going on here. I'm just venting a little bit. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the solutions are, if we can get enough people to care to change these conditions um yeah, and that's it hmm. i see um chief williams has joined i see you there chief hello welcome back to dominica um <clears throat> chief you know so many people are being affected by the dust you know i don't know if you can suggest anything that we can do in the territory you know as a united tribe to um maybe she does live to in stop to, to stop that dust to stop that um destruction i wouldn't call it construction what's going on here is destruction complete destruction <clears throat> <clears throat> See? Um, these big trucks just go by. Not only they're making dust, but they ha they're they full of dust, dirt on top, <clears throat> and that goes everywhere. You know? Um, so, yeah. So, <sighs> what can I do? Well, it's not what you can do. I mean, you can put the information out there, but at the end of the day, it's still, it's, it's still reliant on the people. I mean, how can a, a general populace of people be affected by something and staying quiet? Well, I mean, Dominica is kind of like that. I mean, the whole country economy is going down and, you know, people just quiet. You supposed to have a united front. Not a few hundred people coming on, 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 on B front or wherever and talking. There should be thousands, at least 30,000 people should be there because the economy is not, not affecting only the 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 hundred the few hundred people you see in there it affect everybody on island at least half the population should be there say hey guys we need to do something about this economy and our leaders are the ones screwing it up for us i mean there's no way shape or form that you can outlook this the kalinago situation is the same situation the dust is affecting everybody not some people how on earth then you have only a few people wanting to come out and say hey guys 
we need to do something and the rest stay in quiet hoping for something to happen so that they can benefit how do you expect to have change hmm? how do you expect to have change when what change requires is unification of individuals coming together for one purpose how on earth you expect to have change does making ding dang for the video the lady clean her throat you know when people talking and making up things and they don't really you know like people from over who come from from wherever they coming out from and coming and speak like they know what's happening in the, the the community like they care but at least this lady is very much is affected by this i was listening to her claire for all the time you know i just decided to point it out for you guys maybe some of you guys didn't notice this but at the end of the day it still takes the unification of the people to join together so yes, you can put out your videos and, you know, you know, have a little slight smile, you know, and I understand how it looks psychologically, you, to, you know, you know, not making any argument, you're just pleading, saying, hey guys, we need to do something about this. But sometimes it takes a bit more than smiling, you know, because if you don't take, if you don't take action with the individuals who have been affected, this is going to continue. And what's going to happen? You ask the right question uh, earlier on. What is the, the, the long-term effects of this thing happening to human beings? They're not supposed to be breathing in dust. Brothers and sisters, we are like fishes, you know. We breathe in water vapor. That's what we breathe in water vapor. It's diffused. There's a whole other thing. H2O, take out the H, you have the O and... Brothers and sisters, you get my point right there. Water is in the atmosphere. But anyways, brothers... I, <laughs> this is this is just interesting how is the dust gonna affect us later on and i say us because i'm you know my akalina go in my blood too my peoples and them there yes hi if you have any suggestions let me know because i don't know who's gonna listen hmm. who's gonna care enough to really do something. unite and do something about this here but it's a real health problem I think the people are the ones who should do something about it. But it's rather interesting that the people need to do something about it. The question I must ask is, does the government then know what is taking place? The reason why I'm asking this is because I remember an individual gave a story stating about the pothole in Bayfront. And then he brought the, this knowledge to the people who could do something about it. And they stated that they knew how long this pothole was there, but they did absolutely nothing about it until somebody came to say hey guys this not a, does not look good the tourists are coming in they seen a gigantic pothole there somebody boss is going down in the portal and all you know the pothole there but you don't do nothing about it guys that's not the type of leadership that we should have we should have leaders that are proactive in doing things they are very much active hey we see this needs to be done my father always used to tell us the same this this very sentiment if you see something that needs to be done do it this is why you know I'm always on my P's and Q's and I tell my friends certain things and you know the association of, of, of people I know. Hey, you have this skill set, do do something about it. You just want to sit back and relax and say, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, it'll, it'll happen in time, man. It'll happen in no, do something about it. Time doesn't wait for nobody. Time is the greatest currency that we'll ever have on this planet. Not the little tree money nonsense that people fighting for there. Man printing, make cutting down tree and drying tree and making it white and you know and printing on it man and said oh look that was for hundred dollars no real value brothers and sisters time is the greatest currency that we have time and the longer we take to solve the issues the further and further it gets worse just like this little seed when you plant a seed in the in in the in the earth and there's roots and different things around it you know the tree is trying to grow and these little vines are coming in. You don't leave the vines and say, oh, the tree will make it, man. If you don't take stock of these vines, brothers and sisters, before they get worse, it's going to wrap around the tree and kill a tree. Kill a little seedling before it becomes a tree. So that tells you, brothers and sisters, we need to nap something in the bud before it gets too late. This is one of the questions I always ask right now. I say, is the economy of Dominica too late? And based on any economy that you ask, any economies that you ask, brothers and sisters, it will take no less than about 20 to 25 years at least to get Dominica back in a standing. Unless you have some sort of real genius out there that can come in and say, hey, this is what we need to do. And just be on it, pop, 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 with the mentality of the Dubai individuals. 
Dubai was a desert, you know, before, brothers and sisters. A desert that was there, you know. Be a desert, you know. <laughs> Dubai take that and say, no, sir. And they put rules in place and they stuck by the rules and everybody had to abide by the rules. This is why individuals can leave money in Dubai. You can leave money on a table. You can leave money on table and go about your business and come back for your money. Your money is there. Because if they catch you stealing his blows, you can get. <laughs> because the rules are strict. So maybe if we have some sort of leader like that, man. I'm not talking about communism and those kind of things here. A leader who knows how to put things in place and get things done and rally the people to do things. Not somebody who wants to do things for themselves up there and say, oh, things are hard in the place. Yes, we've seen them building mansions. We've seen their, 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 their associations building all kind of big buildings, but they come and tell the people, oh, things are bad everywhere. As if they're not living in the same country, getting the same salaries, living in the same economy that is doing bad. Yet still they're building mansions and stuff. I mean, come on. Let's be realistic about this. Let me continue. It's almost done. Already endangered as a group, as a tribe. Yep. You know, now <clears throat> you're going to subject the entire tribe to this. It's it, it's genocide. Could what be. else can I call it? You know, you're going to affect the health of the entire territory with respiratory conditions there. At least. At least. That's right. genocide, right? Mm -hmm. That's criminal. That's deprivation of our basic human rights. Mm -hmm. Can't even breathe. Yep. <laughs> breathing. We have basic to... human rights, we. Breathing. The very fact for life to continue. Breathing. Yet still people are doing all sorts of things. Don't care what happened to the people. They say they build an international airport. I personally believe this. Watch the washing money. But of course, that is another story right there. We're just waiting for that video Trevor Johnson spoke about. That 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 what that will be coming on October second. We'll see what that video has to say in that regard. Right there, we're breathing though. I mean, breathing, you know. <laughs> Fighting to breathe in the territory, right? Anyway, that's it right now. <clears throat> God bless Dominica, and I really hope that we can um, make some changes here. All right. Bye. Well, let's hope that the if officials, the officials tend to watch my videos from time to time. <laughs> Maybe you guys can do something about it. I mean, come on, have a heart, man. Have a heart, at least, you know? You might not have a heart for the people. Have a heart, Marcus. <laughs> Breathe in, brothers and sisters. Breathe in. Anyways, brothers and sisters, what are your thoughts, man? Maybe it's just me. What are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Um... Do you are you are individuals in the Kalinago are, are, are you okay? Are individuals in the Kalinago territory everywhere. Are you also faced with this kind of dilemma? The individuals surrounding the Kalinago territory. Are you faced with this dilemma as well? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. So when the individuals see, they will see that hey guys, this is this is serious. Give this video a thumbs up for this lady coming out and speak about the issue because apparently nobody else is speaking about it. It's not like this wasn't happening before, you know. This was happening before, brothers and sisters. It ha yes, I know. Before, I told you individuals left Kalinago territory to move other places because of the dust. So it ha was happening before, just that now apparently some individual came out to speak about it. And that seems it's, it has been continuing. So that means it has been on the rise, you know. It has been continuous, man. All right, then. Anyways, guys, like I said before, leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. Don't forget to tune in into the next reaction I'll be doing on the Mystics React channel, guys. That link will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, of course, with that said right there, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Remember, guys, be real. Be positive.